What's going on guys? Welcome to your 86th draft tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw some more shapes including like ovals and 3D rectangles. But you know, when I say 3D, wait till you see this. You are not going to be impressed at all. It uh, It's pretty pathetic. But you know, it they had a thing called 3D rectangles so I had to figure out how to draw it. So um, let's go ahead and you know, let's go ahead and get started. Um, public and make sure you extend J panel, not J frame. Uh, I think we might have done that last time, but go ahead and get your public void paint component again, just like that. And for parameter graphics G. And now with our paint component, we can actually paint things on the screen. So let's go ahead and well, I guess we first need to call the super dot paint component, just like that. And G parameter already filled in for us to call the um, super classes paint component method and next let's go ahead and set background color might as well make it white I'm gonna make mine white you can make yours whatever you want set background and I'm gonna put color dot white white just like that talk like Sean Connery and now let's go ahead and the first thing I guess I can teach you guys how to do is draw a basic line on the screen so g dot set color just like that and we'll set it to something like blue um, color dot I mean it's one of my favorite colors so blue and white in case you were wondering and now let's go ahead and put G dot draw line and see what we got for parameters we got X Y and X Y now you know that in order to draw a line you need two points on the screen this first line this X and Y is going to be your coordinates for the first point this x and y is going to be coordinates for your second point and java will automatically draw a line from point a to point b so let's go ahead and put 1025 for the first point which should be somewhere 10 over 25 down and for our second point let's put like 245 so it's going to be a downhill line look something like this and now we got a line on our screen so what else can we draw um g dot set color we'll set this one to color dot red because you know gotta mix it up a little bit and now let's go ahead and put draw or excuse me g dot draw rect and what this means is unlike last time when we drew a solid rectangle using fill rect this draws um, an empty rectangle and it takes the same parameters as before let's go ahead and put 10 over uh, 55 down it will be a hundred wide and it will be 30 pixels tall and now let's go ahead and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make ovals now now and well let's go ahead and do this first set color uh, what color you want to make it guys green you said alright color dot green so we're gonna have a green oval G dot we'll make this one solid fill oval and anytime you have fill and draw they're pretty much interchangeable depending on personal preference now this fill oval parameters it takes the exact same parameters as the rectangle but what it's going to automatically do is round your corners for you so if we want to make an oval that's the same size as this let's go ahead and move it down a little bit so we'll do 10 uh, let's see 50 85 so we'll put it in 95 that should give us 10 pixels padding and we'll make it 100 wide by 30 tall. Now this is going to be the same size as this rectangle right here, but instead of a rectangle, it's going to be rounded off at the corners, aka an oval. So now we got a line, a rectangle, and an over, in an oval, not an ovary. I apologize. So the last thing I'm going to teach you guys is something called a 3D rectangle. And what this does is it's pretty much a rectangle that's filled in, but it has a little um, bevel on one of the sides to give it a slight appearance that it's like pushed out a little bit. So it puts G dot set color and what do you want to change the color to? Let's pick a good one. Color dot, uh, let's see, uh, that one's kind of good one. Orange, bam, that's what I'm looking for, orange. And now let's go ahead and put G dot fill, bam, 3D rectangle, just like this. Now our parameters, this is a little too easy. Let's put it at 10 over, 160 down, 
Uh, that's the positioning. The width can be 100, just like everything else. The height, make this one a little bigger, 50. Now, what this raised means, since it's a 3D rectangle, it has the option of being raised pretty much means do you want to give it 3D look or not? And of course we do, true, because 3D is awesome. You can also put false to give it not a 3D look, but we want this baby looking 3D. And you guys are about to be disappointed because this uh, doesn't give you nearly as much 3D as you like. But if you go ahead and run this program, I already filled out all my parameters. Um, if you guys need to do this, just go ahead and pause. But I did this about 80 times before, so you guys should not have to do that. Um, go ahead and... As you can see, we drew a line from point A to point B. We also figured out how to draw a rectangle. Let me go ahead and get my good code up here. Uh, our rectangle using draw rectangle instead of fill rectangle. Again, fill rectangle would fill this all in with red. We also filled an oval in using green using the same parameters as our rectangle. And last but not least, let's scroll down here. We also made this 3D um, rectangle using fill 3d rect now again I don't even know if you guys can tell on this tutorial because YouTube probably takes some of the quality away but there's a little line right here along the edge and it's a little darker than normal and this is a little lighter than normal on this edge and what this does is give you guys the 3d effect now again it's not like 3d like you're making a 3D button at 3D's max or something. It's just a little subtle button like you'd see on a uh, like a very old web page. But you know, it's a it's subtle, but it's there. So um, that's how you make 3D. And I'm moving my fingers like I'm quoting right now. But that's how you do 3D rectangles, and that's what it means basically. So we learned how to draw a bunch of new stuff on the screen: um, lines, rectangles, overs, and 3D rectangles. It was awesome. And uh, so, you know, it's been fun, but that's all the time I have for this tutorial, so don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.